Chris, welcome the coverage of college football presented by Cars.com and ESPN and ESPN 3D. A critical Big Ten Legends Division showdown. Number 24 Northwestern taking on Michigan from the Big House in Ann Arbor. Conversions, but they have to get to the 32-yard line. Coulter completing 70% of his passes and a leaping catch made at the 39-yard line by Christian Jones for a first down. A long developing play and a great concentration by Christian Jones. They go out of empty here. Coulter in trouble. Takes off and has a running lane. To the 45, first down and more. All the way to the Michigan 44-yard line. An 18-yard run by Kane Coulter. Doesn't throw the football. Another run here on first down. The pitch to Trumpy. And Trumpy does well. Showing his vision. He found the running lane and takes it inside the 30. All the way to the 23 before JT Floyd knocks him out of bounds. It's a 21-yard scamper. And eight for Northwestern. They go out of the empty with Kane Coulter. They'll shift Mark into the backfield with a play clock at five. And here's Mark. Big hole right down the middle of the defense to the nine-yard line. A 12-yard run. Cam Gordon on the stop. The Northwestern with a terrific opening drop. Takes in there. First down and goal just inside the 10-yard line. Here's Mark. Spinning out of the tackle and then stacked up at the four. Venrick Mark, really an unknown nationalist. They're beginning to feed in the football because they know that between he and Coulter, that's their main offense. He was a wide receiver last year. Here's Mark to the goal line. Touchdown! Venrick Mark with his 10th rushing touchdown. Let's see if uh, he got the ball across before the knee hits the ground. From that angle, hard to tell. Would be his 13th overall touchdown, including the two punt returns. On the ground, uh, running, and then Mark finishing it off. Very impressive drive from Northwestern. Bud Zine on for the point after. And over the last four games, Northwestern has scored 10 touchdowns in their last 11. Uh, third down and long for Devin Gardner. Two of four passing so far. Well, he's got the arm strength to make that throw. Close to the first down. Gallon on the catch. We'll see where they spot it. And they're going to give him a first down. Under center again. This is completely different. And two tight ends. Play fake. And Gardner was looking downfield but takes off. He can run. But they have to be careful with him as he gets four yards on the play. Uh, they want to be careful with Gardner because really their backup is a walk-on. He would play with Denard Robinson at the same time. They shift Vincent Smith out as a receiver and Gardner looking to take off here and appears to have another first down. Gain of four and Wabusi on the stop. You know the coaches say that not only is he athletic and has a strong arm but he's incredibly smart. All right Reese here seven nothing Northwestern with a first quarter lead in Ann Arbor. And Michigan faced with a second and 15. Gardner off play action. Again, a long throw, but he's got the arm strength. And Roundtree is free. Roundtree wearing Desmond Howard's old number, takes it to the 29-yard line before Jared Carpenter gets to him. A 32-yard pass play. Another playoff of play action. This is just a naked one-man route. You see this arm strength, and while that was a little bit outside, Roundtree snatches it out of the air. More carries than Toussaint a week ago. Is it running back? As uh, they go to the end zone again, and this time a flag is thrown for interference. Roundtree and Dugar battling, and Dugar got him. There's also an offside penalty. Inside the 15-yard line of Northwestern. Again, out of two back, and there's Rawls fighting for yardage. Takes it to the eight-yard line. Rawls on the stop, so it'll be second sacks. Ten play to drive for Michigan, second down and goal. Play fake, and here's Gardner on the rollout. He'll run, dives, hit the pylon. Did he step out first? No, touchdown. He stayed in, and then hit the pylon with the ball. It's a touchdown for Michigan. 
And the first to greet him and congratulate him is Denard Robinson. This is the element from Devin Gardner that the coaches love. Watch Ibrahim Campbell, number 24, he had leverage, but just the length from Devin Gardner hits the pylon and that's a touchdown. Second rushing touchdown for Devin Gardner. An impressive drive running and throwing for the junior quarterback from Detroit. A pair of 10 play drives, one by Northwestern and Michigan with the answer. And just because Denard Robinson is out of this football game doesn't mean that Michigan's not going to be able to move the football. And he's going to captain on this team. He's going to congratulate his partner. But Tim Riley back there, and they'll get the call straight ahead. Second time he's carried it. He's out to the 49 yard line for four. Desmond Morgan. We talked about number changes with Jordan Kovacs wearing number 11. Desmond Morgan is wearing number 48. He, he used to wear 44. He changed it to honor Gerald Ford. Right. And that's what several of the Michigan players have done this year, wearing uniforms to honor former players. Kovacs honoring the Wister brothers, Francis Albert and Albert, who played here in Michigan in the 30s and 40s. Albert, 91 years of age, is here at the game today. Big third down here. The only two passes King Coulter has had have been on third downs. Coulter looking to take off. In trouble. He fumbled it. And Michigan recovers. Northwestern turns it over inside the 40. Jabril Black forced the fumble. Great effort from Jabril Black. He got chopped initially. He was on the ground. Didn't give up on the play. Mickey's right here. Take a look. So he was the nose guard. He got chopped and then got back up and just got enough of Kane Coulter to force a big turnover. Play action again for Gardner. And an accurate throw to Gallon for the first down. Let's check him with Reese. They do have a pretty good kicker in Brendan Gibbons. As long as 52. Gardner steps up and runs. Makes a beautiful move and picks up the first down. All the way to the 11-yard line. <laughs> Devin Gardner, we talk about the athletic ability of Denard Robinson, but watch Gardner on this play. You can see him think about Brady Hoke in his head. Don't run too much today. Well, there's a huge lane, and I can do it. Great. 2008. Michigan looking to take the lead on this drop. Here's Gardner on second down, and he gets hit hard. It appears to have the first down. Drew Smith replacing Eric Guzzo. After the Northwestern fumble. Toussaint straight ahead. Did not get into the end zone, but has the first down to the one yard line. Sean McKevely was the first man to greet him. He's in two backs. Toussaint. Oh, he gets hammered at the point of attack. Damian Proby came flying in there and made the hit. Here's Rawls. Second effort. Touchdown, Michigan. Fourth rushing TD for Rawls in Michigan. Leads for the first time. Great second effort from Thomas Rawls. The play was not blocked particularly well. It's just the second effort and cutback from Rawls to get in the end zone. And Gibbons on for the point after. How about this? We've had three 10 play scoring drives so far. 14 7 Michigan. And Simeon will throw on first down and a dangerous pass, but it was pulled in by true freshman Dan Vitale, the tight end. Is a down and three. Simeon with time that everybody covered so Simeon will run and dies for the first down to the 44 Approaching a minute to go clock stops as they reset the chains Northwestern in danger of giving the ball back to Michigan with time Wide open though in the middle of the field is Christian Jones a first down to the 19 yard line a 21 yard gain Clock running 45 and counting Northwestern with Two timeouts left, down seven points here at the end of the second quarter. 
Simeon throwing strikes on this drive. Coming in cold off the bench. Simeon again. What a beautiful throw! Touchdown! Oh, what a pass! And Cameron Dickerson with his first touchdown. Back shoulder. Trevor Simeon on the money. Raymond Taylor, the corner was there. Just did not make the adjustment fast enough. And Dickerson looked like he came down in bounds. But you said it, Trevor Simeon. I don't know if you understand how hard it is to come off the bench cold like that in a two minute drill. And everybody knows you're going to pass the ball to come in and throw those kinds of passes, all of which were right on the money. How about the redshirt freshman to adjusting, knowing, knowing that's a, a back shoulder throw as the extra point is good. Sure, winning this football game. Northwestern trails Michigan and Nebraska by a game for the top spot in the Legends division. Coulter, first down and out to the 44-yard line. 11-yard gain. Kovacs makes the tackle. Consecutive run plays to start the half for one, Coulter. One of the things Greg Madison, a defensive coordinator for Michigan, said was he's worried about the cutback run with Coulter. He's got great vision. And when they get on the edge of the perimeter and you try to get to the edge as a defense and account for his speed, he's very good at seeing those cutback lanes and making you pay. Only throwing two passes. And he's run the ball 11 times. He'll pitch it here. Trumpy who gets nailed short. Of the line of scrimmage by Jordan Kovacs. They converted on third and 12 on their opening drive, in which they scored a touchdown, the first to do so on Michigan this year on their opening possession. Michigan showing blitz. Here they come. Coulter steps up, eludes two tacklers, running around, has an open man, it's complete. First down of the 45 yard line. Trumpy juggled it. But the Jones into the pile and appears to have the first down. Desmond Morgan, the initial hitter. Very similar to the opening drive in which Northwestern marched down the field and scored. Coulter with the late pitch and Mark, who's back on the field, hangs onto the ball as he takes a shot from Morgan and is close to another first down. 7 0, then Michigan went up 14 7. Northwestern tied it at the end of the half. Coulter to throw. Going in zone, got a man. Easy touchdown. Dan Vitale, the true freshman, a 23-yard score. Impressive opening drive from Northwestern. They make their hay on the ground with the option game, and then they choose their spots to throw the ball with Kane Coulter. Michigan made an adjustment to stop the option with a three-deep defense, and Cam Gordon just let Vitale go right by him. And Budzine makes it 21 14. Sure. Does he say to you, I got gotcha, you? Or does he say, Watch him Brian, push. let me help you up here? Yeah, no, does he, does he help me up? No, he doesn't help me up. He just gives a fist. And <laughs> I think he has that picture in his uh, office at Northwestern of him over top of me. But he, I tell you what, uh, Pat Fitzgerald was an aw awesome player that uh, you knew when you looked across that line of scrimmage inside of his face mask and you saw those eyes that uh, he was going to come to play for 60 minutes. Two time national defensive player of the year at Northwestern. Play fake and Coulter rolling out dumps it off. Tim Riley with the first down out near the 45 yard line. You know in fact uh, the last time we had Northwestern we were at Penn State it was a opening it up and throwing the football on first down. It's there for them to, to convert on any first down they want. Here's second and seven. A swing pass that's high but caught by Tony Jones. And Jones dives close to the first down in Michigan territory. Meanwhile, Missouri getting it handed to him by Tennessee. Here's Mark on the inside run. Oh, he gets planted at the 36 yard line, but after a great spin, Jake Ryan with the tackle. That's a, a this is a wicked play. I mean, you try to defend. And they make a play here on third and eight. Like they're bringing some blitz right here. They'll run the ball. Trumpy, first down, and more. Tripped up at the 11-yard line by Thomas Gordon. How about the play call to run the option on third and long and go for Northwestern? Coulter, oh, they had a man wide open, but Mark couldn't get the ball. Might have been tipped. At so the line. It's a run based offense. Either way, this Northwestern offense has always been productive. 
Here's Mark trying to get outside. In trouble. And gets pinballed to the eight-yard line. Another third down coming up, third and goal. Huge play coming up here for the Michigan defense. 12 with the drive, third and goal. Coulter in trouble. And down he goes at the 18-yard line. Sacked by Bayer. The second sack of the day. Boy, is close to a face mask, but no penalty flag was thrown on the play. Let's see if this was a clean tackle by Byer. Yeah, Byer just comes off the edge with a bull rush, and yeah, he had the shoulder pad. That was a clean play. Good effort by Byer. Then Craig Rowe comes from the other side and cleans it up. So now Bud Zine, who's only missed one field goal all year, puts it through. Still a long way to go on that one, Brian. Oh, no, you're still... Second and 21. Here's a middle screen to Vincent Smith <laughs> for a gain of three, close to the 15-yard line. Gardner half roll here on third and 17. Looking, now airing it out. Roundtree beat his man. Penalty flag down, it's incomplete. Dugar interfered. The pass was underthrown, and so therefore the penalty... It'll be a first down for Michigan. Gardner to the air again. Pumps looking deep again. Going for Gallon. And Gallon able to hang on despite getting drilled by Campbell. Keeps the drive the line for Michigan, and they make a big play. 42 yards. They're inside the 30. Gardner throwing again. Dumps it off. Toussaint keeps his feet alive. Stays in back. That pass interference call on third and 17 huge gives Michigan the automatic first two plays later they're in the end zone first touchdown pass of the day for Gardner. Oh, you ask who's going to step up in the leadership role? That drive, it's two juniors, Jeremy Gallon and Fitz Toussaint, make great plays to get Michigan in the end zone. 24 21. Michigan within three. Devin Gardner making his second consecutive start at quarterback. Started the year as a wide receiver. It's trouble on his goal line and got rid of the pass. We'll see if they mark him down or if they rule that he got rid of the pass first. Pressure by Tyler Scott. There's no foul for intentional grounding. Number 28 was in the area. Okay, so Second no, down. No grounding, and he wasn't in the grasp and down on the play. What a great effort here from Devin Gardner. He didn't see Arnfeld coming off the weak side, and he just throws that ball in the area, and Toussaint was back there. Don't know if he was in the pattern or not, but the fact that he was back there prevented the safety on second down he throws complete and it's going to be a first down for Roundtree boy that last play it was close yeah. to his left forearm right. being down on the 20. play action for Gardner and another long throw on the money and caught Roundtree out to the 46 yard line, a 25 yard pass. I tell you, there's been some outstanding throws from Devin Gardner. This one right on the money. That is not an easy pass, a long developing play. Call that a bench route. You've got to anticipate and put air under that ball and let your receiver run out underneath it. And Roundtree, I bet that looks beautiful in 3D. That's a beautiful throw and catch. Now Michigan not a trouble now the ball at its 45 yard line but no running room for Tucson. He'll lose yardage. Let's go to the studio now and check it on here on first down. They'll run Tucson and he pushes forward to the 36 yard line for about five. Let's check in with Jen Brown. Is true the true essence of being a captain and that is being there for your teammates no matter what no matter whether you can play or not. They'll give it to Tucson again, and they're starting to get some holes between the tackles. Tucson with the first down to the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 10 before Carpenter makes the tackle. A little half roll and a completion to Gallon. And Gallon gets good yardage there, seventh catch of the day. 29th on the season. Gallon had been shaken up, an ankle 
issue a week ago. First down from the 12 for Michigan. Third offside penalty on Northwestern that's resulted in a Wolverine first down. Here's Tucson. Nose dives to the eight for four yards while Boosie brings him down. Approaching nine minutes to go here in the fourth. North Third down and six. In trouble. Gardner end zone fungus. Touchdown. <laughs> Just throw it up to him. And it's six feet, four inches tall. Funches goes up the ladder and brings it down. His fourth touchdown catch, his first catch of the game. Great poise from Devin Gardner in an all out blitz situation to hold it as long as he can and identify the one on one matchup that he liked with Funches. And you might have a future as an offensive coordinator. I think I'll stick with this job. <laughs> A lot less stress. <laughs> Extra point makes it 28-24. Gardner has accounted for three touchdowns for the second straight game. That's tough, hanging in there, throwing it up. Uh, that lead has evaporated. Wolverines by four, but plenty of time on the clock for Northwestern and a dangerous return man in Mark. And he is past the 30-yard line. Mark past the 40. Goodbye. Benrick Mark. 96 yards, touchdown. There is a penalty flag, though, back at the 44-yard line. During the return, holding. Return team, number 80. One-yard penalty. He's resting to keep the ball first down. There's Jones in it, running back. Next to Coulter. Coulter to the air, short throw. And out to the 42-yard line is Christian Jones. Third. Third down and two. Coulter steps up. Gets a block. Takes a shot and close to the first down. Desmond Morgan hit him hard. Looks like they're going to spot him just short. Over 100 yards rushing today and a touchdown. And they're going to throw it, though, to the flat. Cameron Dickerson with nowhere to go. Game tackle, Gordon and Floyd leading the charge. No gain on the play. And that's the first time we have really seen today the Michigan defense rally to the football of Greg Madison. Amazing the turnaround from a couple of years ago. And they're at the bottom of the country in most statistics defensively. In trouble, Coulter gets away from an ankle tackle. There's the cutback first down. And Coulter all the way to the 40-yard line. What a great run by Coulter, but he's hurt. Kane Coulter shaking up after the 15-yard run. He got away from an ankle tackle. Don't know if that's when he got hurt or if it was non-contact. Simeon got a man and got a first down or at least close to it as Demetrius Fields makes the catch. Almost 20 on the play. Watch James. Simi into the air. Pocket collapsing. Simi and rolling and then throws it away. And there's a flag. He was hit late out of bounds. Brennan Byer hit the quarterback late. And Pat Fitzgerald knows it's going to be a first down. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 97. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Only the second Michigan penalty. Let's see. Yep, took two, three steps. Took a step. Yeah, it's just unnecessary. You don't need to make, especially in this situation, late in the game, a young player, a true sophomore, and Pat Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him jump so high. By don't, rule, that's a penalty. Don't even put yourself in that situation. There's no need to do that. The ball's gone. You see it gone, and then you take a shot at a quarterback. It's not necessary. They go empty here as Mark flexes out. Pass to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Simeon finds Tony Jones. Northwestern retakes the lead. How about Simeon? Cold off the bench at the end of the half with a 
brilliant pass to Dickerson. And then he come in, uh, comes in for the injured Coulter on this drive, already there in Michigan territory. And he finishes the drive with a nice touchdown pass. Calm, cool, collected, first and 20, no problem. He's been throwing the ball on target all game. Point after makes it 31 28 Northwestern timeouts. First to kick off. Here's Northfleet in trouble. Spins away from a couple of guys and still going. Northfleet all the way to the 42 yard line, but it looked like he might get tackled at the 10. Let's go to the studio and check in with Reese. Carter threw the ball in the stands at the end of that pick six. Of an interception by Northwestern's Dugar as Gardner throw it up for grabs. And a huge play giving Northwestern possession with a three-point lead and 3.37 remaining. Put this game away. Northwestern is 8 of 13 on third down and 6 of 8 this half. They need to get to the 40. Option, Coulter keeps. And Coulter, beautiful move, is going to be close. Made a great move. Initially, it looked like he was going to get tackled at the line of scrimmage, but got away from trouble because behind Coulter. Now marked in motion. Coulter will keep, and Coulter going to be close. He got hit by James Ross. Wow. All the pins, obviously, Big on hit. the spot. And judging forward progress on those is tough. A huge hit from James Ross the third right in the hole. Take a look and watch where the ball is here. It's all about where the ball is and now you can't tell there. Let's see from this angle if you can see the ball if it crosses the uh, 40 yard line. I, I think he's short Oof. but again it's, it's all based on where they put the football down. The nose it's right of the on football the 40. Is, ta is touching the 40 yard line. Yeah just barely. Oh my goodness. Whew. The officials haven't decided yet. He got First it. First down. I mean, barely got it. Actually, snap it a little bit early here. And Mark, it's maybe a yard, so the next snap will come around the two minute mark. It's a going there again. They just threw an interception on the last Michigan possession because of the injury to Robinson. Here's Coulter, cuts it upfield. And brought down after minimal game by Kenny Demon. So the next snap on third down will come. Is definitely alive for the Legends Division title. They'll pitch it on third and nine, and Mark's going to get spun down at the 44. A loss of five. So the fourth down punt, assuming they punt, will come with about 30 seconds left. Gallon and Dilio are the deep men. Here's Gallon on the 15 yard line. Gallon past the 30 and all the way to the 37 with 18 seconds left. Remember, the clock will stop on first downs, and their kicker, Brandon Gibbons, has made a 52 yarder this year. That was a bad punt there. You yeah. do not want to put that was a poor punt, which gave Michigan. That ball should be inside the 10 yard line. This gave Michigan 30 yards right off the bat. Now they only need one big play to get to the 35 yard line. No timeouts. 18 seconds left. Gardner steps up in trouble. Throws it up for grabs. Contact. And it's caught in the redirection by Roundtree. They got to get down there and spike it. Clock will stop to reset the chains, and then it will restart. Make sure everybody's set so you don't get a penalty. Right. Might be a runoff. Runoff and the game would end. Everybody is set. 53-yard pass play. There is the spike. Now do you kick the field goal, or do you take a shot to the end zone? They're going to go for the field goal, but how about this by Roundtree? What, what concentration from Roundtree. You take a shot downfield, you get bumped. They're not going to call pass interference as they should down there. And great concentration from Roy Roundtree. Big players make big plays in big situations. So here comes Gibbons, who's made 10 straight field goals to tie the game. 26-yarder. 
Seven seconds left. Michigan opting not to take a shot to the end zone. Just going for the tie. And the kick is good with three seconds left. And actually, the clock kept running down to zeros. Let's see how the officials rule it if they put time back on the clock here. Well, how about that? Gardner throws it up for grabs. Roundtree honoring Desmond Howard by wearing yeah. his number 21. Makes a Howard-like play. Concentrating. Two seconds. Two seconds on the game clock. So they put two seconds on the clock, but look at this concentration. It's tipped by the defender. Great concentration. It's on his shoulder. Then to control it down to the ground. Gives Michigan a shot to force this to go to overtime. Here's the important thing about two seconds being on the clock. Northwestern's last kickoff went for a touchdown by Venrick Mark. It was called back because of a penalty. Right. If you're Michigan, do you kick it deep? No. <laughs> They've done there's, it all day, though. There's no question. This will be a squid in the middle of the field. There's no question about that. And the only good thing for Michigan in overtime is they don't have to kick the ball to Venrick Mark. Roundtree with incredible effort and concentration to come down with that. The field goal by Gibbons to tie it. We're two seconds away from overtime. We'll see if they uh, allow Benrick Mark to get his hands on the ball. We had a feeling this was going to be one of these kinds of games back and forth. There's some great playmakers on both sides, on both teams, and none of them have dis disappointed from the toughness of Kane Coulter and the elusiveness and Devin Gardner made mistakes and comes back. Been a great game. And they're going to let it roll all the way to Mark. He had trouble with it, now scoops it up. No time left. Mark at the 20. Mark at the 30. Mark being chased, and they'll get him. <laughs> and we'll go to overtime. It's the same U.S. silver dollar. That's the head. That's the tail. What's your call, Northwestern? Tails. Your call's tails. Here we go. It's a tail. You want defense? Which end of the field do you want to play on? Hey, no, we get to Which end of the field do you want to play on? We want to play on that end, right? Okay, there. yep, we'll play down there. Well, <laughs> Did you hear what Jordan Kovac yeah. said? We want to play on that end right down there with those yeah. students. <laughs> Although the team that usually wins the coin toss defers, so it knows what it has to do on offense after the opponent's possession. Brady Hook doesn't seem to mind. He, he wants this end here. Two backs and two tight ends on first down. Play action for Gardner. In the middle of the field, and it is incomplete. Intended for Roundtree, dangerous throw with Carpenter and Dugar converging. We talk about a young quarterback, you need to look off the safety on a one-man route. That time, Devin Gardner didn't look the safety off, and there was an opportunity to get that ball, just missed it. So second down and 10. Michigan tied with Nebraska atop the Legends division. Northwestern a game back. Nebraska plays Penn State on ABC ESPN 2 330. Pass is caught. Roundtree's loose first down and run out of play inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. 17 yards for Roundtree. Northwestern has played soft with the corners on the outside all game. This hitch route has been there all day. 86 yards has accounted for three touchdowns, including one on the ground. He'll hand it off to Tucson. Inside the five. A gain of five on the play to about the three before Carpenter makes the tackle. Tucson again. Powers throw a tackle and gets to the one. Definitely short though. While Boosie on the stop. It's play action. Gardner running. He's in. Touchdown, Michigan. Second touchdown on the ground for Devin Gardner. And Michigan leads it in overtime. Northwestern will have the ball next.
Gibbons on for the extra point. Northwestern needs a touchdown and an extra point to top. Well, they, they, everybody was thinking the same thing I was. Toussaint wasn't going to get in there, just had to beat one guy. And Devin Gardner sprinting to the pylon for a big touchdown for Michigan. The linebackers, Proby, Wabusi, Araguzo, they were all looking for the inside dive. Nobody left on the outside. Nice call, Brady Hope. And they shift him out of the backfield. Coulter to throw. In trouble being chased. Coulter's loose inside the 20. And dragged down at the 18-yard line by Ryan. Close to a horse collar tackle. Fitz upset. Here's Mark. Not a squirt through a hole. Not maybe two, but won't get the first down. Will Campbell. And Frank Clark on the stop, and Mark is shaken up. And Coulter running, and he's short. Lost a yard. Devins made the tackle. So fourth down and two. Pat Fitzgerald and Mick McCall knowing that they need a touchdown. It's Tyrus Jones in the game at running back with Trumpy. And Coulter waiting for it. And there was some movement on the left side of the line, but Michigan called timeout, so no penalty. Michigan called time first. First time I've seen this three-man defensive front for Michigan. Play clock inside of 10. Coulter's got it. Here comes the option. Oh, Devins with a huge hit on Tyrus Jones, and the game is over. Michigan wins in overtime. This was a different look on defense. First time we've seen it today, and Demons comes through free and makes the play of the game for Michigan. And keeps their hopes alive of a Big Ten championship. They're a half game ahead of Nebraska. The Cornhuskers right now just ready to kick off with Penn State over on ABC and ESPN2. There's Demons, and nobody accounts for him, and he's just free. And Tyrus Jones had no shot. With a physical game as we had, fitting that the game should end on a fourth and one and a physical play like that. Michigan improves to five and one in the Big Ten. And boy, Devin Gardner's got to feel pretty good. Had that bad interception, but redemption after Roundtree makes a great play to keep their hopes alive. They kick the field goal with time running out in regulation. And another fourth quarter defeat slash overtime defeat for Pat Fitzgerald and Northwestern. Another tough loss for the Wildcats. Michigan still alive for a Big Ten championship. Beats Northwestern in overtime. 38-31.